this video is about my future videos because I want to document some plans. I mean, if I will promise something to myself on camera, probably I will do it faster and better. Well, it's been a year since last time I posted a video on the channel and I'm making this video for potentially anyone who ever will have any questions about what's going on here, what this channel is about and who is that guy. What this channel is. You may consider it as personal blog uh, for blogger who making videos once a year, why not? But this is not exactly a blog, a vlog. I would think this is my personal progress tracker. Because actually the only reason uh, to create videos without idea being popular or watchable, I, I want actually, of course that somebody gonna watch my videos, but I'm pretty happy if it's gonna be only me because this is uh, the progress tracker. And I would say I'm already happy about it because I made a huge progress. I know, my old videos, it's definitely over edited, over edited by a uh, person without editing skills and probably not watchable at all. I don't really want to watch it again maybe i will use some cuts to make this video but what the progress i made and actually why here i have one unlisted video it says tbd in laundry and it's not posted yep i will post this video before this one or after i just need to come up with some title and description whatever uh, but what the progress I'm talking about? This video is special. It's actually nothing kind of special. It's me sitting in laundry again with my laptop doing some stuff. But in the first video from laundry, I'm doing some sort of design, design, design. And this one, I'm doing something for my Instagram. Never mind uh, what I'm doing there, but why? This is my best video I made so far, even if it's the same unwatchable like the previous ones. I used only one evening to record me in laundry and I used only one another evening to edit it. Yes, maybe it's a little bit shorter, it's the same crap, but the first video I spent about three weeks to edit it. And about... it, it was also one weekend in the office to get some all the footage to create this kind of moment. It looks cheesy, I know, just you know flashlight but when you're doing it the first time it's very interesting experience yes for exit 17 i guess i i have time tracker somewhere actually i track every moment and every minute i spent on this but it was about four weeks uh, for one episode okay no four weeks for the first one, two weeks for the second one. When I say weeks, uh, it doesn't mean I sat down and work it full time only on those videos, of course not. So I have full time eight hour jobs. It just took me uh, that time frame to get it ready to publish in whatever condition it is. Uh, with evenings uh, working on this, sometimes weekends, and there is progress to have one video recorded in one evening and have it edited next evening. Logo design in 30 minutes, film it on blah blah blah. Uh, okay, that video also was edited for about one evening. That was another challenge. Well, another thing I want to track my progress on with this my YouTube little personal progress tracker is how I sounds like. I know I have terrible pronunciation, my English probably even worse, I don't like it, I'm trying to fix it, working on, and I would like to see the progress, I hope I'm gonna make some progress that I will be, that gonna be visible to, uh, okay, not visible, but hearable, I'm not sure if that kind of word exists, but I hope to hear the progress, not, not only see it. Well, if this is such a personal thing, like progress tracker uh, why uh, don't do it in private mode why post it in public i have only 21 beloved subscribers at least five people here is my personal friends this is for sure 
if there is anyone came from Instagram, hey, now you can see my face. And this is another point, uh, why, why this is public. And at the same actually point why I'm sitting and doing design job here on some trashy chair, on some roof, on some parking lot, under the tree and in such inconvenient places. This is the step out of my comfort zone. This YouTube channel, um, my face here, my little speech here without any kind of scenario, probably it's better to have a scenario. And the same thing is about working on public places or working on a laptop. Uh, years back I was a traveler. I get used to live and travel. I had a backpack, uh, one laptop, 15 inch MacBook Pro, whatever, 2009 model. And it was enough for me to live and travel and be inefficient with my work. Really, a laptop on the one screen and I'm good to go. After that I get back to office job and in the beginning it was a bit weird to me to see people having like you know two screens at the same time. I was like what? Why you need two screens if you have one? Oh, but later then I got my second screen, then I got my third screen. Right now my basic office setup has three screens, sometimes I use four screens. After some point I got some testing devices like laptops, more laptops, different system laptops, different physical screens and blah blah blah. And after years working in such environment I realized that my working place and office is ideal working environment to me. And with Covid pandemic started I just faced the fact that I'm unable to work even from home. I'm not talking about write an email, I can write an email with my smartphone. I'm talking about like some sort of design job, working with multiple documents, whatever. I mean that kind of work. And um, with Covid pandemic I really faced the fact I'm unable to work from home. I try it. Uh, but in the result I really was the only one person who walked in the office. And this is kind of video from that period of time. This kind of wipe, uh, it was what I experienced being alone in the office. I realized that what the hell, I want my flexibility back. This Covid pandemic and especially what came after, everyone on hybrid or remote right now. and. This is endless opportunities to travel and I'm losing this opportunity being unable to work with laptop. And this is another point, getting step out of my comfort zone, taking laptop, sit down on the street, literally on the street, do something and it's work it. I mean, right now I'm not gonna say it's super convenient to me to work with only one laptop screen, I prefer my three screens. But when you're losing your shape, you're going to take your shape back and what I did. So right now I can work with laptop with no any kind of problems. I'm still missing the opportunity to travel and I'm not gonna say I'm running for travel and especially there is not gonna be travel videos, maybe one or two, but nothing major. I maybe will post a few more videos with me and laptop sitting on the streets, but turns out it's kind of boring guy with laptop whatever nothing major gonna happen and it's kind of pain in the pain it's kind of pain to edit the video and match the screen record together with real cam and there is gonna be a lot of videos about my instagram i got a lot of questions by the way people ask it this thing and that and I'm gonna probably record a few videos with video response. So right now the weather sucks, I get a chance to sit down and edit a few videos. When the weather goes worse I go to snowboard, so I'm unable to promise any kind of super consistency, but I will try my best. Future videos will be about some cameras. I do have a lot different ones. This kind of close to my Instagram because actually the cameras is what I'm using to take pictures. You know, take pictures. And you know what camera is, right? It's this little box, black one, glossy one with no buttons on it. It's, it's not the camera, it's a smartphone. The camera is something 
like a little black box with button here, lens here, whatever construction is, but that kind of camera, I mean. And it's important because I'm using that kind of device, like dinosaurs did, to take a pictures. Sometimes I'm using film, but I'm not sure I'm gonna actually open my mouth about film photography. I'm not calling myself a photographer, I'm not even close to be a photographer, I'm kinda solid amateur, I would call it this way. I will play with some sort of cameras, lenses I have, and don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna recommend it to use some sort of lens, I'm not gonna say, ooh, this is fantastic Canon image stabilized, blah blah blah, no no no, uh, most of the stuff I have, it's old. I like to call it retro digital and digital film, whatever, because probably for me it's heat of nostalgia that is gonna be some videos about. I'm not always gonna even share my opinion, I just wanted to get some POV experience when, you know, POV it's point of view video when you have your camera mounted on your head and you walk in like idiot with something on your head. I did, it's a lot of fun. If you're boring, have nothing to do, if you think your life is over, try this. It's It can improve your situation fantastically. Well, cameras. Another point, as I mentioned before, it's gonna be a lot of talking about my Instagram. There is gonna be some videos about design, uh, because the design is something I can talk about probably too much and way too long. Maybe I will post a few videos about eBay, because eBay, I believe, the only one social network that really pays fast. I know it's not the social network, it's marketplace. I have camera, probably a few videos will be about eBay. Maybe a few videos gonna be about some gear I use uh, and tutorials, maybe. I've been asked to create some tutorials multiple times. I prefer to educate people when everyone in front of their own computers and I can explain things and mistakes in person, uh, but why not? Probably some tutorials too. Well, that's it for this video and I hope if anyone somehow got the question what the hell is going on, right now you have more understanding what this channel is about, what it is around about, and if you're under impression I'm worried about how it looks like, I'm just looking on my channel and the first impression I got this is some sort of commercial bullshit. I paid some sort of attention, I spent about half an hour for this logo, this sort of background here, there is kind of sense, probably one day I will explain the story behind it, who knows. And it looks like kind of someone really wanted to make this looks good, I did, it looks somehow. Anyway, I'm going to experiment with this, I played enough with Instagram, I uh, want some sort of different feel to play, it's gonna be my sandbox. Um, if you're subscribed or if you become a subscriber, don't be surprised to see absolutely any random things. If I wanna try affiliate marketing, I definitely will do. Even if I will have 5 followers, I will do it just out of curiosity. Any critics are welcome, any opinions are welcome, and I hope one person, myself, from the future, gonna be happy about the progress he made. Anyway, that's it for today, and next video is going to be about me sitting in the laundry, or about 20 years old camera lens, I don't know. <laughs>